You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stops shooting. I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Come on! Come on, old man! I'm gonna need you to help me hold them off. <laughs> Check on your family, boy. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it's here.
Hang in there, Uncle. I'm gonna get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Let's get them out of here. No, Uncle, please. Oh my God, they killed him. Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs>
We have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Sky on the lone prairie. Hello, young man. Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he wanted results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. 
They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. Of I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Excuse me, you Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. <laughs> 